Oh, well... Welcome back, Dark Souls fans, to more enjoyment of Dark Souls 3. I remain your host, Chatafury 333, and apparently I've... I just barely missed the shortcut back to the bonfire. That... that feels silly. But hey, at least we have this shortcut on top of the other one, which admittedly does me less good when I'm this far in. This is the shortcut I was looking for at the end of the last episode. And I feel kind of silly I forgot that it was all the way down here, but I guess given that I had to jump down there and the rats were here and seriously get out of my way, I do not need your help, that I forgot that was a thing. And also there's more stuff here, isn't there? Or something? I want to say there's more stuff here, but I can't remember. Nope, apparently not. I thought there was something here I could pick up, but it looks like there is nothing. So we already talked to Siegbert. But now, we have to deal with this mimic. Yeah. 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 Ow. Oh. No, or, or not. Okay, once more with magic. Yeah. 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 Okay, there we go. Huzzah! The mimic is dead. And what did they have inside them? A dragon tear lightning arrow. Well, that wasn't quite what I was looking for. Because that's a giant arrow and I don't use giant bows. I barely even use the bow I have now, which is not a giant bow. It's a relatively small bow. And that is just sitting there. But at least I have them, I suppose. Anyway, at this point, we continue. And... Wait, where's the... Ah! Or I kill myself because I got lost. Wow, this is... I don't even know. Alright, let's do this without falling to my death. Hopefully this time I can actually accomplish that much. There's another ladder I need to get to in order to get to the shortcut back up at the top side. I have no idea why I had a problem with that, but apparently I did. Okay, this... Oh, I don't need another ladder. It's just right there. Alright, so... Now we deal with the thing that I was worried about, which is those jailers. Which admittedly, clearly I have bigger things to be worried about, like rats, maybe? I'm not sure. Oh, right, you guys are super tiny. Forget that moan peril. And annoyingly fast. Okay, there we go. Got some healing off you. What? what did you track me in the air? Right, and then the large rats, no big deal here. These these should be fine. I never really have a problem with these, but it's the small ones. It's the ones that are too tiny for me to tell whether or not they're actually close enough for me to hit. Those always get me. Okay, now, as I recall with this, the thing to do is to just kind of get around those guys. And try to go for the rest of these. The rest of the monsters that are inside here, what the heck just hit me? Hang on. Ah, there you go. What? How many of you guys are there? Ah, do not like being unable to see. It's too dark in here. I kind of wish there was a ah, spell I could cast that would just set up a... Actually, I guess light does that, huh? Okay, so this guy's the annoying one. Ah, there we go. Got them down. And these are just going to be trying to hit me, but they're flailing. They're not magical. Ah, come on. Where are you? Ah, there we go. Now I can deal with you. And there's one magical one left, but they don't seem to care. Ah! Yeah, there we go. All right. That was harder than I expected it to be, and a profane coal, which I don't know what that does. Let's see. That is going to be dark lacerating and hollow infusions. None of which I really care about. Okay, lacerating I care about a little bit, but not much. It'd be nice to make the daggers lacerating, but they're already sharp, and I like that enough. Oh. Get one of those out of sync? Yes, I did. See, the key thing here is you want to get these jailers away from each other so that they're not all killing your max HP. 
At least that's the idea. Like, just one of them is okay. Two of them starts to get a little bit harrowing, although, admittedly, clearly, not a big deal. Three of them, apparently, is not going to be a problem. Yeah! Ha! 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 Okay, is there one more left? There is one more left. I'm just going to let my max HP get back up. Eh, I'm tempted to Ember at this point, but I think that it's probably best to hold off on it. Okay, max HP is coming back. Okay, that's good enough. I think that's full up, actually. Yeah, 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 yeah. And jailers are done. Don't have to worry about those for a little while, at least. Which, to me, is basically for the rest of this run. Oh, no, never mind. One more left. I was slightly wrong. Oh, two more left. Slightly, but imperceptibly wrong. Shit! No, 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 no! Ah, I didn't die. Oh, good. Ah, could they stop looking at me? Why must they look at me? I told my agent I wanted a strict no photographs policy. What's going on here? Just need my max HP back, and then I'll be fine. Ay, those jailers are a pain in the butt. Okay, now I am really tempted to use the Ember, especially seeing as I just got one for free. Get my HP all the way back. And then deal with this last Jailer, hopefully with no problems, because this last Jailer... Oh, that would be a complete heartbreak if they killed me. Which they won't. They won't even get to do the little HP reduction thing. I am good. Alright, that is the Jailer's done. Xanthus Ashes, which I'm not sure what that gives me. Dust Crown Ring, which... Gives me a giant screaming person. Apparently to really no effect. I guess it would have been more relevant if I had not cleared out an adjacent room. So what does Dust Crown Ring do? Spell FP consumption is reduced, but HP is also reduced. No, I'm good with just the Dust Crown. Having the magic absorption reduced for increased magic damage. Ow. Oh, there's always more of you. That's fine. That's fine. Like it. Ah, I can't backstab you from there. Fine, I'll just front stab you. Or front slash you, or just rotate around you, and then do this all day, every day, until you die. So with that handled, oh uh, yeah, I got another one of you lot. Yeah, that's fine. I can. I dealt with you in the road of sacrifices, no problem. You're no different from your kin there. Except you have slightly more HP. But that's fine. I have slightly more damage. It's nice when things work out. Is there anything else in here? Hmm. Looks like no. Looks like there's nothing to be found. Thought there might be. I kind of really was wondering about this place because I thought there was some. I thought it was some one you find in here. Like I seem to recall you finding a vendor here, but maybe I'm mistaken. Hmm. Not well, maybe. There's someone in there, and I need some kind of key for it. No clue where that is. And Alva stuff. Which I'm a bit curious about, even though I do quite like the armor I have. But it is... Uh, strictly speaking, worse. Yeah, it's... A, eh. I'll stick with the brass armor. Actually, Alva gauntlets. What are those like? Alva gauntlets are too heavy. Alva leggings are most unlikely too heavy. Yeah. Well... You know, thought I'd pay tribute to the one person who was actually causing me some problems in this. Like, one NPC caused me problems. And another Mimic. They've got a lot of Mimics down here. But hey, Mimics aren't a big deal. Just cut them until they die. And then get out of the way, because they're going to just grab you. Because they always do that first. And then keep cutting them. And then they stagger. And then they die. And then you're good. Okay. Titanite Ooh, nice! Titanite Scales! How many do I have? How many do I have? I have two. Okay, well, that's cool. The important thing is I got Titanite Scales without having to kill Titanite Lizards, which I've been having a hard time finding. So... Yeah, I'm not sure what to do with that. Regardless, this does seem to be basically it. Because that was our way in. Actually, that was the shortcut way right there. This is the way down to the Profane Capital. To the profane capital! Profanity ho! 
Let's see. All oh, right, it's a bit of a roundabout path. And worth noting, where is it? Actually, I could I could use the bow. Hang on. There it is. Right there. Just to have a bit more of a control over where it's going to go and when it's going to come. Is this guy. I got room to fight it here. Okay, cool. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, that was close. Yeah. Thanks for the warm welcome. A anyway. I was aware this was going to happen, so yeah. Clearly not a huge concern of mine. Oh! Ah, didn't... If I could stab it, or if I could critical attack it, I did not know the positioning to do so. Still, first gargoyle taken out pretty quickly. I'm happy with that. Large so weirdly warrior, nothing major. And otherwise, we just continue. Because we're now in the profane capital. This is the final stretch, to an extent, of this area. Actually, the final stretch of any area before Lothric Castle. Once this is done, it is Lothric Castle and into the end game of the base game. Which should be a few episodes. Fair few episodes. But, first off, the bonfire. There is a bonfire up here. I am not going to let that go to waste. I seem to have a bad habit of missing the shortcuts and bonfires and just keeping gone going, especially at this stage of the game. Let's not do that. Let's try to keep ourselves in a decent-ish position. Actually, I'm not going to be leaving the Perrin capital the way I came in, so we can just rest the bonfire. What's one gargoyle? They're not going to matter. Ooh, an undead bone shard. That'll be handy. Actually, to that end, 16k souls, not worth it. I was going to go to Firelink Shrine, but with 16,000 souls, there's not enough you get from it. Hmm? Whoops. Oh, right, well, I mean, yeah, fair enough. That would have been death. Actually, no, it wouldn't have been death, unless that breaks. I'm, I'm kind of assuming it breaks. I would be surprised if they put that there, otherwise... Otherwise, I just happen to have enough HP, it doesn't matter. Or... I could do the thing that I keep forgetting to do, even though I put all the effort into doing it, and spook! And make fall damage be a thing of the past. We Well, okay. That does nothing. I wasn't sure. And now I know. It's completely useless. Also, up here, if I recall correctly, there's actually something you can get from here to one of those ladders. This area, gotta be honest, a little bit unfamiliar to me. I'm trying to remember how it all works, and I probably shouldn't even bother. Probably should just take it as it is and, you know, just go with it. See what I find. See where I go. Because I have not been here in probably over a year. Yeah, over a year. This is not... Not an area I really visited much either when I was just kind of running around the game. It's it's okay. I mean, it exists. Can't really fault it for that. Uh, that, I believe, is the path to Yorm right there. But I have some other business to take care of because we were dealing with Ziegvert. And Ziegvert's quest, I'm pretty sure, needs to have more happen in order to me, for me to actually get through. Because for one thing, they were caught in a cell. I mean, they were going on about how I was going to get out of a cell... But we should know by now that Ziegvert is not the most self-reliant person in the world. So, given that, I figure it'd be wise to check around to make sure if there's a way of actually getting to that cell. Which I think there is. But I'm trying to remember. Also, I believe there's another gargoyle here. And my belief would be correct. As they're right there. Hi, other gargoyle. Oh. Ow. Okay, don't do that much damage. Good to know. At least that one attack doesn't deal much damage, but your other attacks do. Ow! 67 damage? Oh, darn it. Nope. Nope. That's not, em that's not Estus. This is Estus. There we go. Now I've got my HP back. I can start hitting you for damage. Oh, right. You're going to swing at me. Because that's what you do, but that's fine. I'm well aware of that. Well... Fine. Eat magic. 
If you're going to be super defensive that way, I have options. And those options generally involve firing a bolt of magic in your face. I think they're good options. Don't know about you. Can't say I really care. But I like them. Ye Aha! I can jump. Ah, come on. Apparently I can't chase, though. There we go. That's a wall. You're done. Where is my Twinkling Titanite? There is my Twinkling Titanite. This is all they ever give is Twinkling Titanite. Rusted gold coin. Ah! Well, there's no point in jumping twice. You only need to jump once to avoid falling into those holes. Because there's this big middle section. That makes sense. I don't remember if I can actually get to this one. Or if it runs... Oh, it doesn't run into a wall. Okay, cool. That's both Titanite lizards, and that makes me happy. Or Titanite bugs, or whatever they're called. And if you're wondering why I didn't why I jumped the first time, it's because I forgot there was a passage on this side, which also nullifies the need to jump. Also, also, you, I wouldn't necessarily catch the lizard. It seemed to catch wind to me as soon as I dropped in. But anyway, that's that. So we can continue into the lower section without having to fall into a big pool of poisonous water with a bunch of weird leech monsters next to me. I can fall into that water on my own terms. Where's the toxic water? That blooming purple moss clump does not inspire confidence. Do I have moss clumps? No. Let's go do that thing then. Let's see. Purple and regular, just in case I run out of purple, in case I need both or either. Yeah. 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 Oh, that is toxic. Okay. Get the Estus up, because I think I can primarily get through this by just not getting poisoned. Uh, uh. Or maybe... I don't know. This is actually kind of tricky. Yeah. Ha! I mean, I could always just do what I often do, which is just to get poisoned and then kill things to get my HP back up. That's always another option. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, wait, what am I doing? I have daggers. I can just do the thing where I walk through with the dagger slide. I can dagger slide my way to victory. Or at least to whatever that item is right there. See, this is the thing I'm concerned about because there's a bunch of these here. Okay, I'm just going to have to accept I'm going to get poisoned. Or toxic, rather. Or, yeah, got to use this. But it's not super terrible. And also, I have a lot that I'm working with to get my HP back. Ow. Which is doing its darndest to get it to stop me from doing so. But hey, rings are cool. Okay, poison gem and more of these things. Yeah, what are you? Curse bite ring. Actually, that's really cool. I might need that at some point. Eh. Yeah. Yeah. More purging stones. Actually, oh, the curse bright ring is the thing I wanted here, I guess. But the poison gem is kind of nice, too. Yeah. 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 Ha! There we go. A bit more HP. And now I can just blooming moss on my way out of here because, whoa. Does that ever a lot of damage? I mean, I know toxic is nothing to sneeze at ever. Which is why I said blooming purple moss club. Not a great sign. I mean, I guess it's not a terrible sign, but, it, it, yeah. You know, my, my reaction to that is always kind of, eh, maybe. I don't know. All right, whatever. We're, we're doing this. We're doing this again. Yeah. Here we go. Aha, you missed. And now I can get some HP back. Hooray. So in here is death. Oh, wait, there's no poison, though. There's no toxic, so I can go in. I'm just gonna die. Possibly. I might die. See, there's the three of these hand things here, or hand beasts. And you don't fight them all at once. I recommend you don't. They're very hungry. Oh wait, what am I doing? Magic in the face! Oh, it's not even speeding up. Well, let's just get this. See what I mean by hungry? That's that. That attack eats you. 
course has to ah why must you must you dominate the hallway there oh, I gotta be careful okay get out of the poison ah that is the eating attack and now I can't see ah thanks camera thanks Dark Souls camera system okay it's one done got an axe that, did I ever get that axe before? I think that's expansion content, or DLC content. Let's see, Eleonora. I mean, I don't know. I'm assuming that they patched, they backpatched stuff for when they needed it, but I actually have no idea. Also, I can't seem to find any double-headed axes except this one. Nope. No, looks like it's nothing. Okay, cool. And also more ashen. Sheesh, I am really burning my resources here. So these things will wake up if you're anywhere near them, but... Oh, darn it. You know what? I'm not going to fight you. I'm just not even going to bother fighting you. Purging stone. And there's some stuff at the top. But, you know, I don't need to fight you. I just need to get out of there. And dung pies. Yeah, because I'm pretty sure that's all they give, generally speaking, except for that one, is the dung pies. So there's not a whole lot of reason to go and tango with them. They just exist. They do their thing. They try to eat me. In that case, that one failed like two or three times, which is good. It never succeeded, because as far as I know, that's an instant kill. It might be possible to survive it, but I have no idea. I've never actually tried. I've never risked it, because why would I? Why would I want to go and get myself eaten by that? I mean, okay, I've never risked it intentionally. It has happened to me previously in another character, which... That's why I know you don't get too close to them, because they will eat you, and you'll regret having been eaten. Because being eaten is a regrettable thing to have happen. Actually, wait, hang on. Okay, so there's this inside area here, which is another one of those monsters. Oh, wait, what am I doing? I have magic. I, I also have one fewer blooming purple moss clump. Important thing, though, is I have magic. Ow, oh, they don't... They don't have ears! However they find things is not using their ears. In some other sense. Cheaters. Rubbish. Doesn't help me any. What the heck's in here? Nothing. Okay. I mean, I guess I could fight it. I have more space to work with. So, yeah, that's a thing I could do. A bit more space to work with. Nah! Don't eat me! Sheesh. You know what this reminds me of? There's the, I think it's the Demon of Want or something in Dark Souls 2? Covetous Demon. Like, one of the f trivial bosses in that game, but they're... This enemy is nothing like that in terms of triviality. Just in terms of the fact that it flops around and tries to eat you. Speaking of trying to eat you... More mimics! Everything wants to give me a tour of his digestive tract today out of the way, because it always does that attack no matter what. It's like, it always does the eat, and it seems to do the kick almost immediately afterwards all the time. So, if as long as you jump away from it when it gets off the ground, you're fine. And the symbol of avarice, which means that I think is the last mimic in the game. Yes, it is. Yeah, Court Sorcerer Staff is the main one. Yeah, the way this symbol of avarice works is that when you have the symbol of avarice, or when you fight mimics, every mimic has a chance of dropping the symbol of avarice. And eventually... Eventually, by the end of the game, if you haven't found one yet, you will. Oh, then I, no, that's not it. No, there's more in Lothra Castle. So I guess I just got lucky and got it early. Never mind. If you don't happen to find it by the time you kill all, basically every mimic, I'm pretty sure the game will just give it to you. Okay. Hang on. Eat you, and then I need you, because I can't remember if you try to attack me with anything other than magic. I don't think you do. Oh, you... Well, maybe you do. Okay. Seriously, you can... You can poise through that, huh? Well, that's... That's good for you. That's really good for you. Clearly didn't do you a whole lot of good. And I got Logan scroll. Perfect. I think that's Mad Big Cat Logan. I didn't actually get a good look at them this time around, but I'm fairly certain that it was, in fact, Big Cat Logan having gone mad and naked and apparently hanging out in what was Seath's domain for a while. Either moved here or this used to be the Grand Archives. 
And what are you? Wrath of the Gods Miracle. That's kind of nice. So if you're playing a miracle build and you don't know where to go for the Wrath of the Gods Miracle, which is a pretty good miracle, all things considered, so nothing to sneeze at. Down here. Down here you'll find it. Okay, so I was curious what that item was. Nothing to be... Nothing great. I mean, Shriving Stones are always kind of nice, but I haven't really needed to change off my enchantments. So at this point, now we go on to where I was actually intending to go in the first place, which is up to here. I'm fairly certain from here you can get to Ziegvert. I mean, you can get to something. Oh, shoot! Thanks for the message! Wow! <laughs> Not sure why they had that exact phrasing, but yeah, I forgot about the invisible jailers there. Of course, now I've gotten paranoid and I'm slashing at air, but eh. Invisible jailers. Jailer's key ring! Yeah! I was looking for that. I actually opened up a lot of things. Including, I think, Zingvert cells. I don't know how to get to it. I actually don't know how I'm supposed to use this because. I'm pretty sure there's a way to get to Ziegvert's cell, and I just got the key to open up Ziegvert's cell, but I don't know how to get there. I don't know that I actually missed anything, unless there's a secret here. Is there? No! Well, that's a bit of a shame, because Ziegvert's, like, right below that Jailer's Cave. Immediately so, and I don't really feel like jumping down quite there, although... Yeah, is there anywhere I can go from here? Looks like no. Looks like there is really no path this leads to. There are some other paths, though. There are some things the Jailer's Key opens up. Which actually makes me regret the fact that I bonfired right next to the... the... the Jailer's bit. Because, I mean, I can go back down there now that I have the Jailer's Key. And open up that the cell that I'm fairly certain was one of the vendors. Uh, I mean, I can't really get there from here. Oh, wait, no, I should be able to. Yeah, what am I thinking? If I go from here... Or maybe... No, not. Okay, whatever. I'll just... I'll find it. And then work from there. Oh, there you are. I thought you'd all but forgotten me. How sweet. Good to know that a skinny little heretic can still turn heads. Hmm? Oh, you're not one of them, are you? Accept my apologies for mistaking you for one of those leeches. Okay. So, what business have you here? This is a land of monstrosities. And I am no exception. You're here to save me. Yeah, you do stuff, don't you? But I'm guilty. A wretched child of the abyss. Well, yeah. Is that something you can forgive? I don't oh, really care. Really? You are no ordinary woman. Hmm. Very well. Besides, I've grown tired of imprisonment. I am Carla, and I accept your proposal. All right. Well, that's all the spellcasting NPC or spellcaster vendor NPCs that I'm aware of. So, hey, not bad. Pretty happy with that. All right, it's Carla. Ah, oh, there you are. As I said, I am Carla. And I'm grateful to you. Now, what shall we do? The only thing that might interest you is my sorcery. Although my dark arts are a detestable sort, that wouldn't interest you, would it? Eh, yeah, mm. why not? You're a wicked one, aren't you? Very well. Humans are of the dark, and you are no different. Some may avert their eyes. But the truth remains the truth. Be careful, though. Few humans are privy to this knowledge. Let it be a secret. Kept between you and I. 
Okay, what do you got? Dark Edge. Oh, uh, wow, that's a lot of intelligence required. Sheesh. And of course, the tomes here are, well. Oh, what on earth are you? I wouldn't go near a divine and cast as a mirror, so don't. Ah, oh, oh, I know. Fine, but I'll have. Oh, yeah, okay, so that's just miracles. Yeah, the way you're supposed to go with this is that if you give, or rather, if you purchase any of the Dark Miracles from Irina, she'll go mad. But if you purchase them from Carla, then you're fine. So if you want to use Dark stuff, you have to wait until you get to Profane Capital, rather than waiting until you get to the... What do you get, Irina? The Undead Settlement. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Hey, made it! Hey, Zygbert. Ah, oh, you are a saint. Once again, you are my valiant savior. I, Zygbert of Katarina, express my deepest gratitude. You're welcome. Take this. A token of my thanks. Go on. It's all yours. Yay! Not that I have everything upgraded enough to actually use it, but oh, I will. No, please. I've... and... a duty to fulfill. That is soon. Ah, no, and... Okay. Ooh, covetous gold ser serpent ring, which I remember what that does. I think that increases the item drop rate. And it is... Yep. Item drop rate goes up. Hooray! We saved Zygbert! And now what? I... Oh, right. If that's a staircase, it's not going to hurt me if I fail. Okay, cool. So, from here, I don't know how to get back. Oh. Okay, so now that we're back here, and there's a gargoyle trying to kill us, who I don't really care for, so goodbye, Gargoyle. Good luck trying to kill me. Ooh, actually, that was close. That was frighteningly close. Maybe I shouldn't have been so encouraging to them. Anyway, as it is now, we have pretty much one more task left. We got Ziegvert. We got everything in the Earthal Dungeon, as far as I can tell. The last thing to do, go down to Profane Capital, kill off Yorm. Oh, and also... Reset the world, because boy am I low on my Estus. Sheesh. Or I think I am. I might have actually died. I think I died. I don't remember, and we'll never know. My bad. Anyhow. With all the rest of that taken care of, there's that path, and a few other small things, and then Yorm. Like I said, it's a few other small things. Just, just a few. Giant fireball spewing cauldron in the middle of a room. That's a small thing. Ow. I made it past you. Ow. Friends might be a bit of a pain. Oh, no. Not what I wanted. I wanted this. Okay, I'm going to have to deal with you, I suppose. At some point. I guess now is going to be that point. I wonder if I can parry this guy. I wonder if I should try. Well, I mean, I guess if I was going to try, that would have been the time to do it. Or... Ah. Get, get, ow! Sheesh! Oi! That's too close for comfort. Okay, now I can get rid of you. These gargoyles are a bit annoying, and I don't think I should even try parrying them. Because I'm not quite sure what their patterns are. That and the fact that their main attack is hold your wing back and then slap me if I try to do anything. Oh, right, there's... Right, and there's more of them. I almost forgot about you. 
Yeah. Oh wait, can I? Can I? Ah, well if I could, I didn't find the place for it. But still, noted. Daggers, good choice. Oh, can I spook my way through this? Please tell me I can spook my way through this. I just want to stab you all in the back. So much. Oh, or I fail. So I guess these are the actual profaned women that were discussed in a couple of the item descriptions. Because they went on about some women that did some dark rituals that made this happen. All these look very much like the ones we saw in the jail. Just, you know, the ones in the jail were wearing black robes. For some reason. And that's nothing. I think on this side it's another mimic. Which is why I was kind of questioning myself when I said before I fought the last mimic. Because there's a whole other mimic. Yeah. Bah. Uh -huh. Easiest enemies in the game to backstab. Oh, well. They're still the easiest enemies in the game to backstab, but sometimes they manage to get a bit of damage in first. Still, though, they don't turn when they're attacking, and they have these really long attack patterns. So, yeah. I just get to stab everyone in the back. And then go along here. Can't remember what's over here, but there's something over here. Well, is that taken care of? There's only the one more. I mean, I could just go straight to Yorm right there, but, nah, let's deal with these ones first. So, again, spook. Oh, how did I get my FP back? Wait, am I willing? No, I'm not using the Eldritch just Sapphire. That was weird. Oh. Right, that thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, now I've got a lot of things to deal with at once. I'm a bit busy. Wouldn't mind just letting me... Ah! Well, if you wouldn't mind, I would appreciate that. Okay, there we go. Now I got you. Or had you. Okay, now I have you for sure. There we go. Okay. Now I'll deal with these monsters. Yeah. There we go. I mean, I say that as the person who's stabbing everyone in the back and stealing their HP as a result. Because, you know, I guess, you know, it takes someone to know one as far as monsters are concerned. Yeah. Oh, right, Simple Gem. That's why I'm getting my FP back. Because I set myself up to get my FP back just by n not doing anything. As long as I was ready to parry. Works for me. I just forgot I had it, I had it before when I was using all the Estus flasks. Had him in handy. That's one mimic. But, as always, let's deal with these things first before dealing with the rest of the mimics. Actually, only one of those is a mimic. Ah, one of those is a legit chest. The one on the right, I believe, is a legit chest. Ah, eh, screw it. Who needs backstabs and I can just hit you directly? Ow. Okay, that's why I need backstabs. I need backstabs. I want to use Estus. The entire point of my build is so I don't use Estus. Yeah. Come on. There we go. Give me some HP back. Perfect. Oh, they're both mimics. Oh, shoot. Wow, that was deceptive. Here I was thinking I only had the one. Oh, uh, darn it, darn it, no, let me go, let me go. Oh, thank goodness, I survived. Except for the stupid flying dropkick bullshit, darn it. All right, let's try that again. Hopefully this time I'm only waking up one mimic at a time. I gotta be careful with this though. Goes for the eat. And get it out of position so I can... Okay, now you don't hit me with that. Ah. Okay, one mimic down. Should be another one right here. What do you have? Great Shield of Glory. Okay, now the other one that I have to get through those... That big pack of women for us to get here. There we go. And another stamina bar worth should do it. 
And that was easy. I don't know why I had a problem before. Oh, yeah, I had two of them before. That's why. And now the last one. Or, wait, no. This is actually a real chest. Okay. That worked exactly the opposite way I thought it would. Anyway, with all that taken care of, finally, we move on to Yorm, who is a bit of a tricky fight. I'm pretty sure Ziegbert's gonna join me. Yeah. Hi, Ziegbert. Yom, old friend. I, Siegbert of the Knights of Katarina, have come to uphold my promise. Let the sun shine upon this Lord of Cinder. So I need to go get the Storm Ruler. The one time I'll use a straight sword in this run. Ow. Oh, wait, did it hit me? I don't think it hit me, actually. Uh, okay. Yes, thank you. I realize I have that. Oh, whoops. Oh! Ready? Ah, darn it. What is the... Ah, there we go. How do I do that move again? Oh, right. Charge it up first, and then it goes. And then you get critical attacks? No, I don't. Oh, what? Why didn't I have to charge it? All right, two charge cycles. Ah! Why can't it charge? There it is, okay. Ah! No, give me my souls, damn it. Build a critical dead. Yeah. Okay, I missed on that. Oh, thank you, Ziegbert. I mean, granted, NPC ally, it's like there's only so much they can really do, but eh. Something. I mean, this is basically the fight. You just storm ruler the crap out of them. At, why is this not working? I... Oh, I'm out of stamina, that's why. Okay, Zebra's got my back. Wait until you stand up, and then hit you again. Okay, there we go. Now we're good. Uh. Whatever, Ziegvert got the killing blow. Awesome. Talk, talk, talk. Ziegvert. It seems I am in your debt once again. My thanks. I could have not kept my promise without you. Now, for a final toast. To your valor. And my old friend, Yorm. Long may the sun shine. <laughs> well, I'm okay. going to have myself a little nap. In here? The only thing to do, really, after a nice toast. You are a true friend. Best of luck with your duty. Ah, oh, Anke.
Wait, what? I killed you! The fire fades and awaits its one last lord. Well, it's a good thing I went over to Siegbert because I figured something like that would happen. But I thought killing Anna would stop that. Or Emma, it's whatever her name is. Well, I don't, I don't keep a Rolodex of all my murder victims. Well, okay. Please save his soul. I guess it's that whole time is convoluted thing. But we're going to be warping back there because... Oh, wait, no, I can't. I can warp back near there. But, of course, she's already dead, as is the Dancer. And I can put this away and get back the Dancer's Blades appropriately enough. Because there's other stuff in that room. You jerk. Oh, good. Automatically give me the bonfire. That will save time. Anyway, that is going to be after I look at the soul. But I don't think Yoram's soul had anything I cared about. You know, just in case. That will be it for this episode, which was... Well, I mean... A lot of picking up stuff. And another storm ruler. So I have both of them if I wanted to. I could do wield them. Not that I plan to wield a single one of them, but I could do wield them. Actually, I'm pretty sure the Storm Ruler is entirely weightless. Actually, I'm not sure. How heavy is it? It can't be weightless. It requires no stats, but yeah, 8 pounds weight. Okay. That seems more reasonable. Anyway, oh, there's more. Oh, no, it's the second Storm Ruler. I got the Storm Ruler. Why is there more? Ah, Zegrit's armor. Okay. Well, that was Siegfried's quest. It is now complete. We can now move on to the rest of the game. But, as as usual, I am curious if Yorm's soul has anything I care about. I don't think it does, but I don't remember. That's... Let's see, have I? Yorm's great machete and Yorm's great shield. Okay, nope. No, no. That's it. All right, well, that's it for me for now. So, thanks for watching, and... Until next time, enjoy stuff.